March. Thank you. You're welcome. What's up, you guys? March 15, 2024. And this is in my little neighborhood. There's so much snow here. We got about eight inches right here, which is pretty odd considering the storm wasn't supposed to be much at all, if anything. And this is probably, I think, the second biggest storm I've recorded all season. I mean, look at that. Cool, let's go, let's do this. All right, you guys. So this is pretty amazing. As I just said, it's March, March 15th, 2024 in beautiful Big Bear. It's 30 degrees right now. They've done an amazing job on our roads. I didn't get out earlier because I did that like 3 a.m. video and I needed a couple hours of sleep because I had a, a dentist appointment, but yeah, we're gonna do a valley tour. And you know what? You know what, just so we... Yeah, we're gonna go this way because I want to avoid the traffic coming into town. There shouldn't be that many people leaving town. It is Friday, so everyone's coming into town. But yeah, we're still getting some, some little ice pellets falling from the sky right now. Again, it's 30 degrees. And you know what? I'm just gonna stop this while we're at the light. So hang tight. I wasn't like some gothic kid back in school wearing black every day and stuff. <laughs> but yeah, guys, I hope you're enjoying this. We're staying here next week at the Hampton Inn. Already not too, too thrilled about it. Look, guys, I give you guys my personal opinions on the businesses up here. And because I don't have any like paid relationships, because I won't do that. <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you guys and don't let my subjective opinion detour you from, you know, patronizing these spots and giving them a chance. Okay. But I'm already disappointed because, uh, this place is charging $20 per night for parking and we're staying for three nights. And as I said, they're charging 20 bucks per night. That's pretty ridiculous. That's the first hotel since <clears throat> I've lived up here. And I probably have 20 different hotel videos on, on the channel in my playlist that says lodging. And I've never had that experience yet. So immediately, big time turn off. And the room prices are not, not cheap. It's like $210 a night or something like that. The only reason I'm staying there is so you guys can see the place for yourself. But yeah, that's super disappointing that they charge $20 a night. Not a hotel that's here for the tourists. It's a hotel that's here to make money. And it, trust me, I know businesses are here to make money. I get that. But I mean, come on charging you guys 20 more bucks per night it's just ridiculous that's my opinion maybe other people will differ in their op 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 their opinions but yeah it's just my opinion again we're probably gonna really enjoy it 
but that's the first um, first impression I got because of the twenty dollars per night parking. And once again, it's our newest hotel, the Hampton Inn, right there, basically close to Summit Boulevard, right on Big Bear Boulevard. I don't know why I. You know what, guys? For this type of snow, we gotta go through the village. And since I'm rambling so much, I didn't even get in the left lane. But yeah. But we're gonna be staying there next week. I'm looking forward to it. Just super bummed out. It was like $700 total. And then we have to pay an extra 60 bucks. But they do offer breakfast. And apparently, I read a lot of the comments, and they offer. Um, a s'mores kit for the kids and you know what I'm still a kid so I'm hoping I get a s'mores kit as well so we'll see again first impressions don't have to be everything but they are first impressions that's why first impressions are very important and yeah like uh, like it almost made Rachel and I sick to our stomach just to think about like $20 for parking up here like and you're staying at that hotel, again, none of the hotels that I've stayed at charge you for parking, none of them. The only other parking issue I had was at, and it, was, it, it wasn't an issue after time because uh, um, since Rachel and I both work up here, we have both our cars with us, right? One of the hotels that we stayed at only had one parking spot for our hotel room, but they allowed us to park where the where the administrators park so like they were accommodating I'll update you guys <clears throat> on the whole situation but it is a disappointment again I'm sure we're gonna love it it's a brand new hotel I'm excited about that and I want them to succeed I just want them to take care of all of us a little bit more you know I thought maybe since they're just opening, it wouldn't be over 200 bucks per night. But a lot of the reviews are great, great, great reviews. A lot of them mention the uh, the uh, s'mores kits. And uh, <clears throat> a few of them mentioned that they found like screws and nuts and bolts in the drawers in, in their rooms. And, and there was a little bit of dust but it was all attributed to the fact that it's a brand new hotel and they just finished construction. So that's something we can give them a break with for sure. But I have to divulge everything to you guys. Otherwise I'm, I'm not doing, I'm not doing you guys right. Again, you guys, these are my subjective opinions and that's all it is. You know what they say? So, give it a chance still. Again, I'm going to have a video of the whole whole entire resort um, probably up in a couple weeks. We're staying there this next week, but we probably won't have it up. This is my favorite hotel here, the club at Big Bear Village. It's the nicest amenities you can get in Big Bear. It is really nice. I dig it. start heading to the snowiest part of town and remember guys those of you who are coming up now if you're like me and you need to rent skis or rent snowboards you have to go to get boards on Big Bear Boulevard they have two shops one block and two blocks away from the Big Bear Village right on Big Bear Boulevard centrally located I mean just a great 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 location um, if you mention that you're a friend of the channel, they'll take care of you guys. As well as if you bring in your own ski and snowboard equipment, they will wax it for free. Again, you have to mention you're a friend of the channel to get those special benefits. But yeah, great spot, extremely knowledgeable staff, really, really kind staff, top quality equipment, all different kinds from beginner to super advanced experts. 
so they've, they've got everything. It's all the newest stuff also. paid snow play areas where you can go sledding and go on a little roller coaster that's called the alpine slide at magic mountain i think you guys would really enjoy that place and right now because of this good amount of snow that we got the free sledding locations in the lodging part of this channel will probably be worth it right now because there should be some good snow sent me a couple videos out in Baldwin at his house and I was surprised they had some, some decent snow over there but I couldn't believe my house guys about six to eight inches of snow again this storm wasn't even really showing up until just a couple days prior to it and when I was looking at the radar, it was going from like east to west, which is very, very, very different. So the low pressure was, was probably over the four corners area of the country, spinning part of the storm back, which is probably why Baldwin got hit pretty good. That's the only time that they'll get, you know, close to as much snow as we get on this side of town. I'm excited to see. Hope you guys are enjoying the uh, promos that we're making. We're having a lot of fun doing it, guys. It's an awful lot of fun. situation if this is the case because by now I thought we'd have at least 10 inches of snow on the side here where we're at but it, it's it's actually it, well, it almost seems like we're getting less snow in the snowiest part of town holy moly guys I mean I'm telling you that's like a once every couple years type of a situation Again, I have no idea, but we'll have to see. Let me, uh...
never see that much snow. So a friend of mine, as I said, sent me a video clip and a picture. The video clip wasn't playing for some darn, darn reason, but wow, look at how pretty this is. Guys, this is amazing. Check something out for me. Yeah. Go to Caltrans on your phone when you have a chance. I know you're looking at beautiful jewelry. <laughs> and then there'll be a drop down menu at the top. I just want to tell our folks what the uh, chain requirements are for all three highways. steady 15 miles per hour not much traffic coming into town <clears throat> which kind of surprises me I thought because it's Friday there would be a heck of a lot more people coming in Caltrans yeah just click on the Caltrans website <clears throat> and then on the top there's there's that drop down menu on the right Top right. Yep, there you go. And then, what are some of the options? Travel. Click travel. And then scroll down until you see like road conditions or something. It should be the third or fourth one down. Highway yep, that's the one. Current highway conditions. And there'll be a little box middle of the search area and then you'll type in 18 and then just hit the space bar and then type in 38 and then hit the space bar and then type in 330 it's really cool guys because you can put in all the all the highways in one search but you have to put a space in between the uh, numbers so yeah so just perfect babe. And then it'll pop up and tell us. And what are we Road chain. Just of what it says. Are chains required? Yes. Are required on all vehicles except for road. Which highway is that? 18. Okay. And the 38. No restrictions on. No restrictions. Okay. Well, guys, you have to take the 330 to get here anyway, so that means you are going to 100% need to put on tire chains at some point. Just not on the 330, which is which is nice. Are you are you certain, right, babe? Yeah. Perfect. 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 Thank you. And then yeah. and then Highway 38. With snow tires, babe. Except for four-wheel drive with snow tires. Yes, that's a an important element. So if you guys don't have four-wheel drive or all-wheel drive with snow tires, you're still going to have to put on chains. Even if you have the nicest four-wheel drive car on the planet, you have to have the snow tires to match. All-terrain tires are not snow tires. Winter tires are not snow tires. All season tires are not snow tires. I've made that mistake a few times in the past and have been turned around. So I don't want you guys to be wasting your time. Again, we're at 30 degrees. And it is a winter wonderland over here. 
but not as much snow as I anticipated to see over here. So I'm excited to see that other side of town right now, guys. It's going to be unbelievable. Again, I believe the, the low pressure system like uh, really starts stirring up over the Four Corners region. And a lot of this precipitation was coming in through the other side of town, which is very rare. So since they got hit first, they're probably ending up with, with as much, if not maybe even a little bit more snow over there. So we shall see. I got a lot of messages from a lot of you guys saying that you live in Corona and Riverside and you hardly saw any rain. And then we get all this snow up here. Again, where I live, this was definitely the second biggest storm of the season. And I have it on tape to prove it. But if someone can prove me wrong, because I know I do so many recordings, there's a chance I could forget some storms. Let me know. But I have a feeling that this surprise storm was our second snowiest one up where I live this whole season. What do you think, babe? Uh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, right? Yeah. And you, you, you know what? It's the second time we've been plowed, so that's definitely the truth. Talk. Huh? You were saying something. I just said, yeah, this season. Yes. Last season blew this season away, though. But yeah, so I, I was thinking about it. I was thinking about Brian, who's at the house waiting to plow. And he's, uh, it's his second time there, the whole season. So that does prove to me, guys, that this is the second biggest storm we've had. Because they only come out when we get six inches or more. Can you believe it, babe? We've only had one other storm that dumped six inches or more. That's it. The whole entire season. Again, guys, March is technically the snowiest month of the season, but... Yeah. My phone's overheating, so I need to kind of cool it down a little bit. I mean, guys, this is the first time I've seen in the longest time where my house has more snow than they have over here. It's, it's amazing. Dude, I just saw your message, and holy cow, that's insane. I think this storm was one of the few rare storms that got pushed in from east to west. And I think that's why you guys got so much snow over there. I'm over by the dam right now, and there's not nearly as much as I thought. I think the video would have looked a little bit cooler, you guys, if, if, if I did go out at 6.30 in the morning. Because all the roads would have still been white as can be.
then guys up here we're coming up to a place where Rachel and I want to stay I I've just learned a whole bunch more about it recently you can't book it through Expedia or hotels.com or anything like that you have to go straight to their website which is the outpostbigbear.com it's right on Grout Creek my favorite tributary in the whole entire town it's behind this fence here this is the outpost I know you can't see much but it's a bunch of cute little cabins completely updated it's a uh, new owners took over about three three years ago and they completely updated it and it just looks amazing Here's the tributary where some of the rooms are sitting on, and it's flowing nicely. I know you didn't get the best view of the tributary, but... The snow is starting to pick up a little bit over here. like it's definitely snowing pretty good at, at the mid-level area of snow summit and higher we have some more snow lingering into tomorrow but there's not going to be a whole bunch more accumulating unless something changes but this storm brought a lot of surprises so we shall see yeah I think we got more snow at my house than they did over here just a little bit more.
is 30 degrees, so you could catch some ice in spots. Guys, we're getting these sleep pellets bouncing off the hood. There's a news truck, I think. Yep, that's what it was. really hoping everything would still be white on the roads though because it is below freezing so I was I was really hoping for that but oh well
like a, a wildlife preserve area right there. I can't remember what it's actually called. I always forget. Did that guy have chains on all four tires? I was looking that way. Yeah. He was that way too. Oh. less snow but it, it's not by as little as we as the discrepancy usually is but again it's the Baldwin area I'm pretty excited to see because that would be the first area hit with this type of storm usually with a storm you know like this like six to eight inches of snow Baldwin you'll still have dry patches everywhere but I have a feeling it's going to be fully covered change required Maybe tomorrow for the aftermath. Or, yeah, all, all, all depends on, on how much snow we get tomorrow, if, if that'll be the aftermath. But if we do the aftermath tomorrow, I'll probably go up to Onyx Summit to check it out. Look at how all this water over here in Baldwin Lake. It's just such a nasty color, though. It's, 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 it's gross. It's just, yeah. You don't want to swim in that, but it's really nice. 
Like I, just to have that for a few months each year to turn your typical barren property into lakefront property would, would be pretty nice. almost growing on the top. not that much you guys but compared to what they'd usually be getting from a storm like this there'd usually be like an inch of snow over here when I have eight inches at my house six to eight inches at my house we're, we're literally entering the least snowy part of the entire Big Bear Valley right now
You guys, I think this is the most snow we've seen on this side of town all season. Street. Yeah, they got it. Man, from seeing his uh, his driveway right there from the tire tracks, there was at least six inches of snow right there. At least. There's a big equestrian area and ranches and farms and stuff like that over here. Mostly ranches and equestrian. There's a, a little sledding area over here as well. So we're on Baldwin Lake Road. It might be Shea Road by now, but we're on Baldwin Lake Road. Remember, this will eventually turn into Big Bear Boulevard. But right over here to the left, it's 
since they got a lot of snow out here, this would be a great little sledding area. I'll point it out once we get there. We're almost there. It's coming up here on the left. So it's this big open space right here. It's a great little sledding area. Especially with all this snow over here. Highway 38, just a little bit. Hopefully we, yeah, we'll beat the snow plow. So that's good. Here we go.
this turn often, guys. Over here. Right, guys so that's gonna be it I hope you guys enjoyed it we did basically the whole main part of the valley I wanted you guys to see the kind of in a weird way the roles were reversed when it comes to uh, the Big Bear snow rule today um, there was just as much snow f for the most part out on uh, in the Baldwin Lake area remarkable I it's so cool to see that so anyway thanks for being here hope you enjoyed it um, next video unless it starts snowing a lot more will be the aftermath video um yeah thank you guys again go to bigbearweathermore.com help support the channel i'd appreciate it get yourself a bunch of great merch and wear it with pride talk to you guys later peace out